Hey guys. So I keep hitting record and it keeps stopping recording, but look at these. What are we doing? So tonight we are going to dye the hair. Uh, Leah dyed her hair a few days ago and made a video about it and uh, she did it red and so it was like kind of all over her and she said that it was so messy and it looked like a murder scene or something. And so I offered to show her how I do my hair now that I have long hair. Um, you know, it can get messy. So, and I've been doing my own hair for a long time. I'm no expert, but, uh, so I offered to show her what I do and I thought it would be a good idea for Veda and she was like, yeah, go for it. So here we go. Uh, this is what I'm using. I buy this at Sally Beauty Supply. So it's the Argon Oil Hair Color. This is High Lift Cool Blonde. Here's the developer that goes with it. It's a 20 developer. And then I just use one of these reusable bottles. And yeah, let's see what the hair looks like. Oops. All right, so I wore a ponytail today, so I got the ponytail bump. But as you can see, I need to do some roots. Got big hair. So first step is brushing it out. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's my hair all brushed out. As you can see, I have a lot of hair. Hmm. Kinda need a haircut. So I've got my mirror right here. I didn't know how else to set this up. So I'm hoping you can see it, but you're gonna see me looking here, not here. Awkward, I haven't done this before. Okay, so first thing we do is open the box. Comes in a foil tube. This is actually two, um, two applications, but because I have so much hair, I use both. Um, so this would be equal to two boxes if you were buying like over the counter excuse me, over the counter, at, like at Walmart. All right, so we're going to do, we're just, there's not enough room in the bottle to make the full thing. Oops, I'm just squeezing it into here. So I squeeze about half the tube and you will probably see my concentration face a lot during this video. And then we're going to do half the bottle here. And there we go. I'm going to leave that open because we're going to go back and do it again. Give it a shake. <sighs> shaking, shaking. I wonder who else dyes their hair on camera. Feel a little silly, but we'll see how it goes. Mm. I wore my new old shirt. If you guys watched my uh, fashion video, it was a shirt that I had bought at Fashion Bug before they closed that was too small and now it fits. So I wore it today at work and I got a lot of really nice compliments, which felt really good. I kind of want to wear it on Sunday too. Uh, so I might wash it and do that. So when I dye my hair, I concentrate on the roots first and then, um, expand out. So here we go. I might zoom you in a little bit. All right. So <clears throat> we're going to start this here. I wish there was a mirror right below the camera so you could kind of see. But basically what I'm doing is just kind of using the nozzle. And then I'm gonna go, basically I'm getting the roots first. And then I'm gonna leave the roots on for the most um, amount of time. Because we wanna lift some color. Normally I don't let my roots grow out this far. Um, I think I was just feeling kind of lazy. Sorry to say that, but all right. Hello bangs. And 
And you're just trying to saturate the hair. All right, now, if you decide to follow Leah's lead and my lead and dye your hair on camera, all I ask is that you give us a shout out, well, especially Leah a shout out because it was her idea, and tag her and I. That's all I ask. Oh my God, that is a good look. Holla. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm doing this. This is insane. Anyways, so yeah, because I think it's important in our community when we make a video on a topic and we have an idea that if you're going to follow that person's lead and do that as well, you should give them a shout out and or tag their video. Just saying. And if I have done an idea and not given someone a tag or shout out, I apologize and I'm trying to be aware of it and I just think it's the right thing to do. So, like, um, Face Mask Friday, Leah talked about getting the idea from, I think, someone named Chris, but I'm not sure exactly. And then she did it, and then I did it, and I gave her a shout out, and then some people on Facebook did it, and then they tagged us, and it just comes full circle. So what I'm doing, <laughs> hello Roots, um, I'm just kind of making sections, making sure all the roots are covered, using my fingertips to kind of spread it around on the roots, kind of that shampoo motion I think they call it. Because I wear ponytails all the time, I'm really trying to make sure that I'm getting the back and the underneath. All right, so now that I have the roots all coated, I'm gonna go uh, once more around the perimeter. Make sure that's nice and tight. Don't wanna be missing any spots, especially around the ears. That's always also the part is a really big deal for me. I don't want to like miss a spot on the part. Oopsie. I don't want to mix up a new thing yet until I'm ready to do part two. So again, just kind of smoothing. The other thing you can do is kind of squirt it in your hand and then use your fingers. getting closer again I'm just trying to kind of make sure everything's coated all right <sighs> how do I look so we're gonna take a break set the timer and I will be back in a few minutes. All right, I'm back. Still a good look for me. All right, so what I'm doing now is just kind of smoothing out around the perimeter, making sure that if I did miss any spots that I'm getting covered in round two. So here's where the messy part comes. So I'm gonna mix up the second batch. Can't do two things at once. All right, here we go. With these foil packs, I like to try and get all the product out that I can, but sometimes it gets slippery. Sorry, that's a lot of grunting there. All right, garbage can. <clears throat> Pour the rest of the bottle in here. Doo -doo. 
to do. All right, time to shake. I kind of just shake side to side at first so that the product doesn't get right stuck in the nozzle because I've done that before. Also, I'm going to get my clips out. This is the key when you have long hair to not get it messy is to have a bunch of little clips and you just clip up the sections. So, and I'm just cleaning up here. Okay, here we go. So, <clears throat> you know, again, I'm not an expert. This is just what I do. Just start squirting. Ooh, and squirt all over your shirt. The other thing you can do is squirt in your hand. <coughs> and breathe in the fumes because this stuff is strong. So, my hair is substantially longer now than it was even a few months ago. So, if I continue at this length, I will probably need to start getting two bottles of this stuff because I think the one bottle is just going to barely cover it all. But we'll see. So again, just kind of smoothing out. Just want to make sure you get every piece moistened by the color. All right. Twist. Clip. I look so hot. Okay, so section number two. Actually, I'll do this in a couple sections. So I'm just squirting a bunch in my hand. And again, moistening. Now I know the roots don't look super light right now but they've only processed about 20 minutes. <clears throat> and all of this will process another 20 minutes or so. So, like so. So I'm gonna do a bunch in my hand and schmear, schmear, schmear. So, I challenge you guys, those of you with long hair, the diet at home, if you have a different technique, please show us and let us know. All right, so there's half. Actually, went a lot faster than I was even anticipating. I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see this side because I have to be able to look in the mirror too, but um, I'm going to do the same thing. So what should we talk about? Hmm. <laughs> well, I will say, on my TV I had the TLC channel on, which I'm not even sure what I was watching now that I think about it. The last time I had the TV on. But, <clears throat> so here's what I do too. Once I have everything kind of pretty much coated, is I will just start putting a bunch of the product on and smear, smear it around all over the place. Looking for any dry parts. The other thing I'm going to do, because I still have color left, is try and get it out of the bottle. 
I'm going to do this. Just to make sure I have everything coated as much as possible. The other thing I'm going to do, because I do have product left, it's just thick. I think that's the thing that helps too, is when you have a thick cream based formula. I've had some that are so runny, they just run down your face, but this one is pretty thick. I'm going to do the same thing I just did on the back, on the front. Make sure I have that widow's little widow's peak thing that I have. It's not very big, but it's a little bit. Feels pretty moist. All right, so I ended up only using one clip. <clears throat> so I'm going to leave it like that. I got it on my skirt, so I just put my hand in it. How's this look? Ding. I'm glad this is recording because obviously there is no uh, backup plan on this. <laughs> Hope I don't delete it. All right, anyway, so that's how I apply my hair dye. I'm going to let this sit for about 15, 20 more minutes, and then I will rinse, and then I probably, I don't know, I don't really want to dry it tonight. Usually when I take a shower at night, I will um, just go to bed with it wet and then it's kind of like wavy in the morning. So I will probably do that. But I may like dry a little bit of it so that you can see it. I haven't decided yet. So if I don't, then I will see you guys in the morning. And if not, then you'll see me right now.